You spoke of interdependence, and in our work we distinguish what it means to be dependent, strategies, whether that's of giving or that's of organizing, that create dependency. And then we move from that. Stephen Covey has such a lovely distinction on this. And we move from that to looking at independence. Everybody looks at independence. This culture in the United States values, honors independence. But sometimes independence can lead to such a sense of entitlement beyond looking at what really needs to happen that we need to examine this whole construct of independence. So we say interdependence assumes your in independence, that independent in a slightly different way, that you stand in your own independence and are able to see the consequences of one's actions, one's decisions, the way in which we work, the way in which we talk, and what that means for other spaces. So interdependence is a construct which has an assumption of oneness, of connectedness, of knowing that who I am and what I do affects who you are and what you do. And right now yes. is a perfect time to look at this whole construct of interdependence because you can look just from the economy and recently what's happened with the economy and the, and the destruction all around the world, it wasn't just isolated to one country or one continent, it is an interdependent system that impacts all people all around the world. Yeah, then there was this fear of H1N1, there's a country who slaughtered uh, pigs, and the pigs kept much of the sanitation in the five cities going because they, they are scavengers in a way. And when they slaughtered the pigs, the amount of infection that spread around that city is huge. So a lot of what we do are, are, is really connected and interconnected. 